We won't let them enter Ukraine. That's the message Petro Poroshenko repeated to his troops. During a training center, the Ukrainian president said his nation was getting ready for the possibility of full-fledged war with Russia. We will not give them a chance to enter Ukraine. Now we must improve our skills, we must organize an effective preparation so that, if necessary, we can inflict a defeat on the enemy. The move comes after Russian ships along the Kerch Strait fired on three Ukrainian boats on Sunday. Russian forces then seized the vessels and are now detaining the soldiers who were aboard. Poroshenko also made a plea to NATO in the German paper Bild, requesting the support of NATO ships. He said Europe should not believe Moscow's lies and that Vladimir Putin, after annexing Crimea in 2014, now wants to control the Sea of Azov and all of Ukraine. The choice of directing his plea to German media is not without its reasons, for Germany is the largest buyer of Russian gas. Berlin called for an easing of tensions, saying that Washington's talk of new sanctions against Russia was premature. Meanwhile, Vladimir Putin laid blame on Poroshenko, saying he was trying to raise his approval ratings. It's clearly a provocation, a provocation organized by the Ukrainian authorities and I think by the president himself, ahead of the presidential election scheduled to happen in March of next year. At the president's request, martial law has been rolled out in 10 border regions in Ukraine. The month-long measure allows the government to mobilize citizens and to increase border controls.